Mike, uh, obviously you are, are so remembered for that catch, the play. Every no-hitter needs one of those. Top seven, one out. You make the incredible play on Yachty to preserve the no-hitter. Can you just take us through that play, your read right off the bat and everything going through your mind as you're making it? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, I think just like any other fly ball you get off the bat, you have an idea if it's catchable or not catchable. It's going to kind of dictate what kind of route you take. And <clears throat> you're just going to play it off the fence and try to keep the guys from advancing. So that ball that was hit, I felt like it was catchable. Um, and you just go for it. You know, I think the, the thing at the end of the play just kind of broke down. I just kind of lost my footing underneath me and couldn't really brace for the fence. And I think any of us that take that field know um, something magical can happen any night. And I think anytime you're in the arena, you know, the risk you take is the long term, man. But we play for those moments, right? So hopefully, uh, I think everybody involved in that night, to whatever degree you were involved in, they probably look at it that way. And I'm sure Johan would say the same thing. Well said, Bex. Um, Tolz, I want to I ask you about the catcher side of this. Uh, you know, you're, you're calling a no-hitter, uh, you know, in, in a big league game. I caught a couple, both in the minor leagues. You know, I, it's, it's a little bit different. Um, what was going through your mind, you know, as you're, as you're feeling this going? And then, you know, are you calling the game any different? Do you feel any more pressure, you know, and, and how are you working with Johan? How is that whole thing going down? Sure, uh, Rec. And, and, you know, the thing is, the perfect game was gone after you walk somebody. So we were in a spot. We had a little bit of uh, some leeway, right? We get to a 3-0 count. We can pitch around a guy, get on to the next guy. But the, the hardest part for me was pretty much – seventh eighth and ninth inning when you get into the spot where you're you know the pitch count is coming up terry stressing dan stressing how can we get him through this game without wasting pitches and that was that was the hardest part because johan johan's stuff that night was as good as it's ever been and um remembering remembering correctly in the bullpen it was we we weren't sure if he was going to make it out of the second inning so it, it was one of those uh, magical nights when the guy's not very good in the bullpen and goes out and deals. Knowing the history behind it, um, it, it's just crazy to think the, the arms that have come through the Mets. I mean, you go from Seaver, Nolan Ryan, Pedro, Glavin. I mean, the list goes on for these guys. And for nobody to ever throw a no-hitter and to be on the field for the first one was, was beyond special.